springing into spring. Tommy and Charlotte are sitting on a park bench by a pond one early spring morning. Take a deep breath, Charlotte. Can you smell that? Charlotte breathes in deeply. I smell freshly cut grass, coffee, and something sweet. Those are the roses, Charlotte. Spring is in the air. The bees are buzzing. The flowers are blooming. The birds are singing. The new season has finally arrived. You're in such a good mood. The changing season has certainly put a spring in your step. You're even wearing shorts today. It's because winter is over, and I really dislike winter. It's cold, dark, and miserable. Spring gives me hope. It's a time for new beginnings. Speaking of new beginnings, look there in the pond. There are so many frogs' eggs. Some tadpoles have already hatched. They're so cute. Keep swimming, little tadpoles, and you'll grow into big, strong frogs. Singing. It's the circle of life. Do you think it's warm enough to get some ice cream? It sure is. Let's go. I know a great dessert shop. Hi everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Elsie. And spring is here. Let's leap in today's article and experience all the joys of spring. Now we should start by explaining what we mean by the title "springing into spring." The second spring, of course, is the noun spring, the season. But the first spring in that title is the verb to spring, which can mean to jump or move quickly and suddenly from one place to another. So in this case, we kind of mean we're jumping quickly from winter. Into spring. Ah,、oh, so spring can be called a verb, can be called a noun. That's right. If it's called a noun, it's called jumping. Exactly. Jumping into the new season. And we see Tommy and Charlotte are sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're sitting on a park bench by a pond. One early spring morning. They're So he's asking us to take a breath, which we just both did as、yeah. well. One breath is the amount of air that's taken into your lungs at a time. You can breathe—that's the verb—through your mouth, through your nose, but one breath and a deep one is when you take in lots of air, fill up all your lungs and other parts of your body. Here's an example sentence. After swimming under the water for a while, Robbie took several deep. Breaths. Breath 这个名词呢，指的是呼吸的空气或者是你的气息。所以像是呢 ，hold your breath， 那就是要你憋气、屏息，不要呼吸。那刚刚的 take a deep breath 就是深呼吸的意思。那有一个形容词呢，前面是 breath， 后面是 taking， 合在一起 breathtaking。这个形容词代表美或惊人到令人屏息的感觉。Can I stop holding my breath now? Oh yes, you can. You can breathe now. 所以 breathe 就是动词了。那字尾要放一个 e 进去，那发音会改变哦，是 breathe 呼吸。所以吸气 breathe in， 吐气就是 breathe out。So we see Charlotte breathes in deeply. Of course,、mm-hmm. there's the verb breathe in, take breath, take air in. And she says, "I smell freshly cut grass." By the way, that's one of my favorite smells.、Mm-hmm. Absolutely love it. Coffee, also a very nice smell, and something sweet. Okay, 那这边有个副词呢，是 freshly， 也就是 fresh 加上 ly。这个副词是刚刚的意思，所以 freshly cut 就是刚剪的。Mm. Mm. So, what is this sweet smell? Well, Tommy explains. Those are the roses, Charlotte.、Ah. Spring is in the air. So she's smelling these flowers. Of course, they're popping up. But what does he mean by the phrase "spring is in the air"? 
if a feeling or something else is in the air, then a lot of people can all feel it at the same time. It's like, wow, you can tell what's going on. If there's tension in the air, everyone kind of feels, oh, something's not right, this is not good, there's been a fight or an argument or something. If there's a lot of laughter in the air, then everybody's all laughing and having fun. If we say spring is in the air, it's clearly spring. Everybody around can feel that winter is over and spring has come. Here's another example. Chris is going on a date with Susie and Leon just got back together with Angie. It seems like love is in the air. 好，那我们看到的片语 in the air 指的就是某一种感觉，到处都有。那尤其是正面的事情哦，像是新奇的啦，或是令人兴奋的事。So what else can they hear or see around? Tommy says the bees are buzzing. Of course, the bees will all come out at the start of spring. They'll start going to the flowers and connect, collecting the nectar they need to make honey and live. And when they do fly around, they buzz. To buzz is to make a low, kind of continuous sort of. It's like humming. It's a bit like murmuring, a bzzz kind of sound, and it's very similar to that made by an insect. Of course, they buzz by flapping their wings、mm -hmm. really fast. But other things buzz like machines. You might hear the sort of buzz of a machine. Someone could buzz your doorbell if it's got that sound rather than a ding dong sound. Here's one that gets me a lot. A mosquito buzzed around my head and woke me up at night. Oh, that could be very annoying. Extremely. Buzz 这个动词呢是发出嗡嗡声，所以呢我们说到很多昆虫都会发出这样的声音，像是 bees, me fall,、mm -hmm. mosquitoes, 蚊子，还有像 cicadas. Do they buzz? They make a super loud sound. I、yeah. don't know if "buzz" is the right word for it.、Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll have to go and check that. But maybe if it's their wings doing it, then yeah, it's kind of a buzz. So Tommy carries on with his description of this spring day. The flowers are blooming. Oh, the flowers are blooming. So "bloom" 这个动词就是开花。Okay, Tommy is now going to complete his set of cliches. We've had <laughs> bees buzzing, flowers blooming, and he says the birds are singing. The new season has finally arrived. So he's using some some pretty ordinary kind of yeah, poetry. Yeah, the butterflies are dancing among、yeah, the flowers. Yeah, this is very very obvious spring descriptions. So the new season we're talking about here is spring, right? Yeah. Do you like spring? I like it more than winter, but、mm -hmm. it does rain a lot. Yes, in here especially. Yeah, well, it rains every well, every season all every the time se in、uh, Taiwan. True. You have a rainy season and、mm -hmm. a less rainy season, and those、yeah. are your two. So Charlotte, noticing all this kind of poetry coming out of Tommy,、uh -huh. says, "You're in such a good mood. Your mood is the feeling you have, and it's usually in the short term. It's not like an emotion、mm -hmm. that you would describe a time and time again. It's basically how you feel right now. You're in a good mood. You're in a bad mood. You're in a sort of okay mood. You might say Sean is in a bad mood because he had a fight with his girlfriend." Mood 这个名词呢，指的是你的心情或是情绪。所以呢，当我们说啊，某人 somebody 加上 be 动词，后面接上 in a good mood， 代表他的心情很好。那如果他心情差，你可以说 somebody is in a bad mood。那如果呢，你听到人家说 be in the mood for something or to do something， 那就是有意想要去做某件事情。像是呢 ，Are you in the mood for shopping？ 你想要逛街购物吗？ So Charlotte adds to this this idea that Tommy is in a good mood. The changing season has certainly put a spring in your step. So if you have a spring in your step, or if you walk with a spring in your step, you're kind of moving quickly and happily. You're not kind of oh, it's another day at work like that. You're like <laughs> yeah, it's Friday, let's go. That kind of thing. Okay, so you see a spring in somebody's step, that means someone is not very happy, but their spirit is very happy. Yeah, they're basically a happy person.、Mm. And Charlotte adds, "You're even wearing shorts today."、So, okay. Yeah, sun's out. You know, he's got his legs out, getting some air on his on his、uh, knees. He's really in a happy place. And so Tommy explains, "It's because winter is over, and I really dislike winter." So if you dislike something, 
You don't hate it. You don't really try to avoid it all the time. You just don't really like it. Like if you had, for example, if you dislike broccoli, then you might eat it one or two pieces, but you're not going to go and eat it out of choice. You won't complain if it's on your pizza or in your meal, but you go, okay, I'll eat it. Not my favorite, but okay. You just don't really like it that much. Here's an example sentence. Georgia dislikes dogs because she thinks they have too much energy. She prefers cats. I prefer cats too. That、mm. 这里的动词 dislike 你会发现就是 like 前面加上 d i s。那 dislike 是不喜欢，可是没有到 hate 这么讨厌的感觉。好，那 dislike 的后面呢要加上名词或是 v i n g。Yeah, I dislike taking out the trash.、Mm. It's a bit smelly. It's crowded and so on. But got to do it. So the article continues with Tommy explaining what he dislikes about winter. He says winter it's cold, dark, and miserable. Sounds like the UK all the year round. Weather, right? Yeah. Okay, so he says this is winter, very dark and very cold. Another word is miserable. Miserable. It is a situation or season that is very bad, very miserable. So that's how I feel about winter.、Mm. What about you? Yeah, pretty much the same.、Yeah. I don't enjoy those seasons. I don't enjoy that time of year. So Tommy continues. Spring gives me hope. He really is in a poetic kind of mood today, <laughs> isn't he?、Uh, so spring gives me hope. It makes him look forward to new things. As he says, it's a time for new beginnings. Of course, because you know, baby animals get born, flowers grow, trees start having leaves and stuff on again. It's all very pretty. So Charlotte continues. Speaking of new beginnings, look there in the pond. So we use this phrase "speaking of" when we're introducing a new subject, but we're using a reference in either what you just said, or more often what somebody else has just said. They mention it in what they say, and you kind of take that little piece of information and use that to introduce something new. He mentioned new beginnings. Tommy did. Charlotte takes that idea of new beginnings and then points out something else to introduce this new subject. Which is obviously in the pond. So speaking of, 后面加上 something 或是 somebody， 那就是提到点点点或是说到点点点。所以呢，刚刚他说啊，讲到春天，那你看那个地方。Hmm. So, what has Charlotte seen? Well, she explains there are so many frogs' eggs. Some tadpoles have already hatched. Tadpole 指的就是蝌蚪，所以蝌蚪就是从青蛙的蛋里面孵出来的。Yeah, they almost look like little fish, kind of like、mm. black head and a tail. They're and, super tiny. Yeah, and they will. Some of them will eventually grow into full frogs. They'll start poking out their legs and arms and get bigger. 没错，那孵化的这个动词呢，就是 hatch. Yeah, frogs come from eggs. They're not hard eggs. They're sort of almost like jelly、mm-hmm. eggs. It's basically like you know, like boba in the water. Right. And then the tadpoles come out of those. And for that, we use the verb hatch. So the word hatch as a verb is pretty simple. It means to come out of an egg, but you will find people using it in two ways. Sometimes people say the eggs hatch. Now, of course, the egg doesn't come out of the egg. When we say the eggs hatched, it means they broke open and the baby thing came out. But we could also say the baby birds hatched, the baby turtles hatched, and so on. It means they came out. So you can and you will hear people using it about eggs, but also about the babies inside them. And both uses are okay. Here's an example sentence: When the turtles' eggs hatched. The baby turtles crawled over the beach to the sea. Hatch 这个动词呢，指的是孵出或是孵化。那主词的部分呢，可能是蛋，或者是那个生物本身。那如果呢，你在 hatch 后面看到加上了 a plan， 那是什么意思呢？代表你孵化出一个计划，那就想出一个计划。Yeah, you could say hatch an idea, hatch a scheme, something like that. And when you do that, you have the whole plan ready, and suddenly it pops out. You、mm-hmm. don't kind of build it up bit by bit. It's like it's all there. Pop! Here's the plan. So Tommy keeps talking and says, "They're so cute." 
He obviously means the tadpoles, and he tells them, "Keep swimming, little tadpoles, and you'll grow into big, strong frogs." Of course, grow into means grow up and change in some way. You become something older, often bigger, and sometimes different. Tadpoles look very different from frogs. Now, people, children, grow into adults, but they keep the same shape.、Mm -hmm. Frogs are one of those animals that completely changes. Grow into something, 那就是成长为点点点，或是发展为点点点。Okay, Tommy then sings. Wow. Should I sing? Okay, sure. Okay. Why not? It's the circle of life. Okay, thank you, Pat. Okay, that's enough from me. <laughs> I think you don't want to hear more singing. Okay, it's the circle. Yeah. Of life. Yes. 那名词 circle 呢，指的是循环或者周期，所以 circle of life 指的就是生命的循环。Yeah, of course, this is the Lion King song.、Mm. It's about you know babies get born, they grow up, they have more babies or lay more eggs, and more babies come up, and it goes around and around. So Charlotte is changing the subject again, and she's had a thought. Maybe I don't know what made her think of this from frogs, but you can guess. Charlotte says, "Do you think it's warm enough to get some ice cream?" <laughs> Maybe this is just a way to stop Tommy singing. Right, she just wants to stop him. Yeah, like enough of the Lion King. Let's do something else. And Tommy is cut out of his singing by、uh -huh. the idea of ice cream, and says, "It sure is. Let's go. I know a great dessert shop." Of course, a dessert is a sweet treat that you have after a main meal. So you'd have something—a big dish of rice or noodles—and then something. It's almost always sweet. It's got a different flavour to your main meal. You could say Kelly's favourite dessert is chocolate brownies with ice cream. Dessert 这个名词呢，就是甜点。所以当我们出去餐厅吃饭，好，尤其到一个比较正式的餐厅，你会有 appetizer 开胃菜，你会有 main course 主餐，最后呢还会问你 Would you like some dessert? 你想要吃点甜点吗？ Okay, we'll find out if they get ice cream in part two of the article tomorrow. Now let's go to our for you chat question for today, which is, what's your favorite season and why? My favorite season now is fall. Okay, it's autumn because it gives me a kind of romantic feeling.、Uh -huh. I used to love summer, but not now、gotcha. anymore. It's too hot here. Too hot. Yeah, but Taiwan doesn't really have fall like. The trees don't really change color and lose their right, leaves. Right, but the temperature is different. But when is fall? When? Yeah. Um, at the end of October. Okay. Even though the Mid Autumn Festival is like in September, where it's really it's hot. It's still too hot. Yeah. Tai yeah Taiwan because of where it is in the world, it doesn't. Really have the same sort of four traditional、mm -hmm. seasons. It's kind of partly those four, but also partly the wet, dry season you would get in somewhere close to the equator.、Um, but you've seen fall in North America, right? Right. Right. So that's much different.、Mm, that's much more、true. traditional. I love summer. Summer is when, as a kid, you don't go to school. It's hot. You get to go out all the time. It's sunny. Uh, yeah, definitely summer. No argument from me. That's why I like it. So that brings us to the end of today's article. But join us again tomorrow to see what else Tommy and Charlotte get up to on this one spring day. See you then. Bye for now. Bye. Vocabulary review. Breath. The doctor told Tim to take a deep breath while she listened to his body. Buzz. Terry didn't get much sleep because mosquitoes were buzzing around and kept him up all night. Mood. Janice was in a cheerful mood today because the weather was warm and sunny. Dislike. Ethan dislikes talking on the phone. He prefers to speak to people in person. Hatch. After the mother duck lays her eggs, it takes about twenty-six days for them to hatch. Dessert. We had salad, soup, and sandwiches for dinner, and strawberry cake for dessert. 智慧小补帖。Bloom. Miserable. Tadpole.